Okay, last time we saw a principle which was known as Archimedes principle that used to deal with fluids which were static. Now we are looking at another principle which is known as the Bernoulli's principle. This deals with fluids which are in motion or other fluids which are moving. The statement of Bernoulli's principle is For an inviscid flow or a non-viscous flow, an increase in fluid speed occurs whenever there is a decrease in the pressure or whenever there is a decrease in pressure, an increase in the speed of fluid occurs or vice versa. For an inviscid flow, this is the word we will be using very generally. an increase in the speed of the fluid occurs whenever there is a decrease in the fluids pressure or a decrease in its potential energy. This is in general the statement of the Bernoulli's principle. Now this term here, inviscid, this means that the fluid is non-viscous or rather I should say that the flow is non-viscous. We will be dealing with another topic later on known as viscosity but for the time being let me state that non-viscous means the resistive forces in the fluid are absent. Whenever there is a flow or whenever there is a motion, there is always a resistive force or resistive effect impact there within the flow. So this, the term visco viscous is coming from a word called viscosity. This is absent. Provided this is absent, this statement is true. Now every fluid is associated or rather every fluid has an associated energy. Those three, the energy of the fluid can be split up into three parts. So every fluid in motion has number one pressure energy. Number two, potential energy. And number three, kinetic energy. These are the three kinds of energy associated with the fluid which is in motion. Now, Pressure energy, potential energy and kinetic energy, these three terms will be dealt with in detail in our later part of the discussion. Let us move on to the assumptions when we look at Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle is based on a few assumptions which we will be studying now. Let me first state the assumptions. Number one, non-viscous or inviscid, which we stated earlier, 
नंबर टू इनकंप्रेसिबल फ्लो नंबर थ्री नॉन टर्ब्यूलेंट फ्लो नंबर फोर इरोटेशनल फ्लो नंबर फाइव स्टेडी फ्लो और स्ट्रीमलाइन फ्लो फॉर अ नॉन विस्कस फ्लो वी जस्ट स्टेटेड दैट द विस्कॉसिटी और विस्कस इफेक्ट इन द फ्लूड आर एबसेंट विच मीन्स रेजिस्टिव फोर्सेज और रेजिस्टिव इंपैक्ट इन द फ्लूड आर एबसेंट सो दिस हैज बीन कवर्ड इनकंप्रेसिबल फ्लो एसेंशियली मीन्स दैट the density of the fluid is constant for our discussion we are superficially stating that the density of the fluid is constant in general when you study this topic in your engineering or higher level of studies you will know that density in general is not density constant in general is not a criteria for incompressible flow there are in detail a lot of other things which has have to be taken in, into consideration before stating that a fluid is incompressible for a non turbulent flow we need to know what turbulent is turbulent comes from the word turbulence this in general states that the fluid is the fluid motion is unstable or there is a chaos associated with the fluid motion so when we apply bernoulli's principle we have to assume that the fluid has no chaotic movements or non stable or stable movements so this flow has to be non turbulent when we look at an irrotational flow irrotational comes from the word rotationality now what this means is basically the stream lines or the fluid lines do not curl with each other or there is no rotation involved within the flow this as turbulence and uh, incompressibility is also a very uh, detailed topic which will be covered when you go into your higher level of studies for now just remember the fact that you are considering a flow which has no rotational movements involved in it at the end we deal with steady flow steady as it implies is the properties of the fluid do not change with time for a steady flow the properties do not change with time that's when a full flow is called steady streamline flow is another word for steady flow we will be dealing with streamlines very soon so these are the assumptions in bernoulli's principle